Yeah. Santé. This is the absolute marvelous piece of Bambi. I wash, want to wash it off though a bit since it's game. I cut this morning a bit of pine, but it's a very mild pine, which I want to actually cook with the lamb. It's just supposed to give you a bit of Christmas flavor, hunting, forest. We also want to rub down the whole thing with uh, a rub, which we have to do first. A bit of Sichuan pepper, some long pepper beans from Madagascar. And we fry the whole thing. This is, uh, well, usually you would do this in a mortar and a pestle. Do the rest on here. Add a bit of five spice, espalette, and pepper. This is gonna be the rub for the meat. And after we rub it, I wanna spike it with uh, garlic and anchovies. Also add a, add a few thyme leaves in there. Ah, uh, yeah. And a rub is called a rub because it's rubbed. So you really massage it in everywhere. You really want to work it into the meat. Nice. The next step is spiking. We need a couple of cloves of garlic. Like not too thin pieces because we want to be able to stick them into the leg. So they need to have a bit of holding power. And also like during the 24 hours of cooking, everything is going to dissolve. Okay, and here we go. This is how it goes. We cut a bit of anchovy, we take a bit of bit of garlic, make it slit into the meat and insert both of them deep, deep, deep into the meat. Very good. So that is done. Now I have to prepare my onions. We need 12 onions. I'm going to leave them as, as a whole so since we're slow cooking at 90 degrees, so it's below cooking temperature. It's kind of a sauna. So we're going to do the carrots. The carrots are like last time. We have carrots up there. It's the season. They're very good. As you see, they're dirty, but that's what's good about them. The good news is I managed to peel the carrots without cutting myself. And so now I want to chop it into like very long pieces because they're like really thick, nice. Let's see, they get like really nice, big. I'm gonna cook them all. But we don't want to cook them, want them to cook too much. Okay. Now, get it quick. We just want to brown it a little bit from both sides. Yeah, that's good. That's, that's good. And then we put a whole lot of uh, maybe crust with it which is, I never understood really the drinking bit of it, but for cooking, it's absolutely brilliant. So instead of a wine sauce, we're gonna do a, a vermouth sauce, because also I want in the end to have a clear sauce with it and not too dark of a sauce. I wanna add this, uh, which gives it a bit of a foresty flavor. And it's in the oven. Oven is 90, feels like a good sauna. I'm very curious to see what this looks like tomorrow. Wow, that smells good. So, uh, come on, I, I can't wait. Have to check right away how Bambi did tonight. Whoa, that looks good. I want to pour a bit of sauce on the meat, uh, but it's... It's excellent. Come on, we switch the oven off. Maybe turn it back on a bit later. So I'm just covering the chestnuts in butter. So first of all, they look better because they look a bit dry and a bit, a bit soft. And that way they get a bit hot again, which will be good. I put the butter, butter away in the fridge. And now I'm gonna take Bambi out for her serving. Look, that leg there is falling off. So get this out, and then we're gonna have to make the sauce, which is gonna be the difficult part. Carrots are very, very soft. Very, very soft. Mm. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing which we did for the carrots. 
I'm gonna put some parsley over it. Parsley goes very well with carrots. Okay, this is okay. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna actually do exactly the same thing that we did for the souffle. Start with a roux, that means we melt butter, put flour into it, and then add the liquid that we have here, which is beautiful. And we're gonna add some cream and some mustard. Okay, now I'm working in the flour. I put a bit too much, I should have, like usually you should just put a little bit in, but it's okay, it's, it's okay, it's, it's working. See all the, all the clumps are getting out, I got lucky. And a bit more flour. When you pour in the flour, you don't want to have any liquid in there, otherwise it clumps up. Okay, that looks good, that's perfect. See, yeah, just flowing creamy. And we slowly add this to our roux because we don't want anything to clog. It's starting to look good. The, the sauce is getting along, it has to thicken up a bit more before we put the cream in and the mustard. I'm just heating up some armagnac. So what do you think? No, is that, what do you think I of my man cave? It. Like So far, I love it. No, is that, you like my midlife crisis? I, 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 I'm a big <laughs> fan. I'm a big fan of this midlife crisis. Okay, that's Bambi. No? Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Burning Bambi. Burning Bambi. Super, merci.